Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to GM Cubing. And today I'll be making a nightmare bandage cube out of a 3x3, super glue, and a screwdriver. That's all you need. This 3x3 is the Cheeky Warrior S. I'm only using this cube is because um it's completely uncontrollable and I'm just never gonna use it as a main. It's really not a bad cube if you like if you set it up right, but I just don't have the stuff to set it up. So I'm gonna make up a nightmare bandage cube out of it. Now the nightmare then the, the bandage cube that I'm gonna be following to make this is this one. You can buy this one off a of speed cube shop for about five dollars. It's bandage cube A. And it's the easiest out of the three. So I'm gonna use that as a template. So first you obviously has to have to disassemble the puzzle. And there goes the super glue. Yeah, just disassemble the puzzle. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Just do that. That's, a, that's literally it. There's nothing else to do. And I've actually never looked at the mechanism of this, but it's practically the same as the, um, what was it? The, um, is identical to like the regular warrior double pretty warrior w pretty much except for the corners they up they definitely upgraded the corners edges are still the same so yeah okay um so yeah let's start so since i'm gonna be following this one i'm gonna be using yellow red and blue so let's Put that right there see so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this right here so we're gonna take off the cap of the super glue puts put a, put a little drop of glue right here and here Take this edge and just put it on. I ooh. I should probably add a little bit more glue to the yellow to the yellow part. So I'm gonna do that a little bit right now. Sorry if it's out of frame. I just need to make sure it stays on. go okay uh oh so yeah just let that it's like stay there for a little bit more glue on the blue side just because of that and just let it sit there for a little bit so while that's getting set up let's We'll um, let that sit for a little bit, and then we'll come right back. But yeah, so I just did this on a mini cube, and yeah, see how it, like this can't move? That's because I did this, and I put a little bit of glue in the right next on the edge piece, right connecting to the um the core. Not like the thing, not like the actual core, like the the blue part of it, as you can see. Maybe if it'll focus. Yeah, maybe right yeah, if you can see it right there, yeah, right there. Then it's right there. I'm still letting that dry. But yeah, it'll it will discolor the plastic just a little bit, not too much. But yeah, so the, so yeah, but it will definitely the, now the glue that I'm using dries up somewhat quickly. So let's grab the next edge piece. And this time I'll put the glue on here on the edge piece and see what happens. Right there. Right there. Now let's make sure we get this in right. Uh -oh. 
Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm just making sure, like, it, it's, like, doesn't, like, mess up. I'm trying to make sure it stays in the right spot. So you can see right here, see, I'm trying to seal it off. And if the glue gets on your hands, it, it's okay. Because it's really not going to, like, do anything. It's just going to make your hand really sticky. Now on this one, we're now right here. Sorry if that was out of frame. I wasn't paying attention. Now, right now, we're going to put the corner in let me get the right corner first so we're gonna put the corner in like this and since we can hold the corner up and then just place it on there what we're gonna do for this corner is we're gonna put the glue on the side of this edge right there that should be enough that should be enough now we're gonna go put this in and drop it on let that let that sit for a little bit and then we're gonna add this piece on now we're gonna add the next edge on top of this make sure that that's a good amount of glue oh wait we also have to add on to the sides right there see right there glue is on now put the piece in now if this happens just go in with some glue and push down. And if the same thing's happening on the red side, just do the exact same thing, going with some glue. I guess that'll work. And now we're gonna like try and connect it to the core so it won't like go away. So what, did I, what am I talking about? I mean, so it doesn't move. So where it's locked in with that piece. And once you're done, it'll just look like a regular 3x3. Three three. See, just... If you could see right there, it's connected to the piece and the core. And we're just going to do that on each piece. Right, you can get the Warrior S off of Speed Cube Shop for about... Around $3 to Go ahead and do that for every piece, just to make it sticks and doesn't move. Last two centers. I mean, not sorry, it's pieces.
Sorry if that's out of frame in there. There we go. That's in there. As you can see, it is glued completely. So once it's done, it should look like a normal 3x3. Three three. Now, I suggest you would you should wait around um 30 to uh, 30 minutes to an hour for it to dry fully with the glue that I'm using. I'm using the lock tight super glue ultra gel control so yeah just let that sit for around 30 minutes to an hour with this kind of super glue and it should be dry and then you just reassemble the puzzle and then it should work just like this right here except it would turn better because this does not turn well really at all pretty sluggish but yeah so that's all for right now i'm gonna come back whenever it's done to dry all right. All right. So guys, it's been about two and a half hours. I waited a lot longer <laughs> than what I said before. But yeah, the glue is definitely dry now. You can see the discoloration that I was talking about. And you can see how it's like all dried up right there too. But yeah, I was talking about discoloration and it did discolor. So yeah, let's, um, let's actually put this together now and let's see how it turns so go here don't mind the background noise just in case if you guys hear it my siblings are watching a movie downstairs so where's that other piece here we go there we go Get in there. There we And the mini one should actually be dry too. So I'll put that one together too after I get this piece in. Oh my gosh. Get in. <laughs> there we go. Oh dang. That worked. It looks like I'm, I'm trying to push it and it's not really. Yeah, that worked all right. Super work on the mini key. This is a U shaped mini keychain cube. I just took the keychain off of it. You can also get that off a of speed cube shop, but two, three dollars. I'd like to say that. Pretty sure that's how much it cost. Not expensive at all. Let's see, where's that other edge piece? There we go. They have that movie so loud. I can feel it shaking up here. Like, my chair is shaking right now. That's insane. All right, I wonder, I wanna know if this works too. So guys, this is this after recording works. and that just beats. um then I had later in this one, video, I, I accidentally one. got the I could um, probably give naming this one wrong. To my friends, the one that I made just, is A. Three three. I got the second turn. one right. The second one is B, <laughs> Why won't it but turn? the third one is C, and that's the hardest one to make. All right, that's all I wanted to but, tell you. Yeah. Um. Let me put in these pieces. Yeah, this is a usual mini keychain cube. 
it actually turns pretty well. But yeah, that worked too down here. See, see, look, see, it's not moving. So I'm gonna scramble this up. Scramble this one up too. This one turns really well. And I'm gonna do a quick solve on it too. Just to show you guys that it is solvable. Well, I mean like obviously it is solvable. I mean like I did this already like two two or three times. So yeah, let's scramble this up. Get a good scramble. And this one's probably e is definitely easier because you can um do um all kinds of um PLL algorithms and OLL algorithms with orange facing you and red in the back and green on this side. So yeah, let's start off with the yellow cross. Oh see yeah, look, that's a problem. Okay. So yeah, the bandaging definitely gonna be a problem. There we go, and then we can just insert that. So the first layer is done. Let's move on to the second layer. Okay, let's... This puzzle is definitely tricky but it's not like insanely hard it's just kind of hard to wrap your head around sometimes now we can insert that pair normally Oh, oh. And I in this in this video I will be shouting out a good friend of mine that is also a YouTuber, and hopefully he will do the same in the future as well. Um, but that will come in at the end of the video. But yeah, this this puzzle, bro. Oh yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please turn on post notifications as well, so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And also join my Amino community and follow me on Amino at gmcubingyt18 and I will leave a link in the description below for the community. All right, there we go, last layer. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Last layer is actually basically the easiest. See, this I don't like. See, whenever I get that, I just do like. Like, just, like, try and get myself another PLL. I mean, OLL, and then redo it. And then try and get myself another PLL. Like, that end, we're done. See? It's really not that hard. But if you have, like, non-Cuber friends that have never seen it before, and they've never really heard of a, a Nightmare Bandage Cube, you can literally just walk up to them and be like, Hey, try and solve this 3 by 3 and they wouldn't know what the heck to do with it. And it'd be like, and they'd be like turning randomly and like, eh, da. and then they come across this and then be like, wait, what? Why won't, why won't this move? Like, it's a bandage cube, you idiot. And then they just complain and complain and complain and complain some more. But yeah. And you might, you know, we might as well just solve the mini one too. Because why not? Get this edge pair in. Mm -hmm. And whatever, you guys get the gist of it. So yeah, that's how you make a Nightmare Bandage Cube from the Bandage Cube A. Hold on. There you go. Could y'all see that at all? Hopefully you could. But yeah, that's how you make a Nightmare Bandage Cube A. Because on my phone it was saying low battery. I just want to make sure you guys could see it. I'm pretty sure you guys could. But yeah, this is Nightmare Bandage Cube A. It's the easiest. I'll come back with a cheese sale this time. I'd rather use that than this to make bandage cube B and then A. A is the hardest to solve, make and scramble. B is like, um, so this is easy, medium, hard. Like it's, it's like somewhat hard to make scramble and solve B, but it's not the hardest ever, but yeah. So that, that should be coming soon. And also look, be on the lookout for a Yushin Black Kirin 3x3 review soon. Because I will definitely make that sooner or later. I'm finally back with making video guys, the videos guys. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll also leave all the materials you need in the description. But, um, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Join my Amino community. Follow me on Amino at GMCubingYT18. And I'll leave a link to the Amino community in the description. Please be sure to join that because no one has yet. And I will be live streaming on there, too. So if y'all ever want, I'll be live streaming on there. So if I get, like, four or five people on there other than me, I'll start live streaming on there. So, yeah. Um, be sure to go check that out, and peace out.